Hello, this is Maria Lane and I have a message for the week ahead. Week beginning the 19th to whatever seven days is. Um, we're entering Pisces season. Yay! My favourite time being a Pisces that I am. Yes, so I think today, tomorrow is the beginning of um, Pisces and I wonder if, this is just me thinking out loud here, whether we actually, um, as a collective, absorb the energy of the sun sign that is currently in um, in play. So, I wonder, did you have more thoughts? Were, were you more thoughtful, uh, mindful, more in your head over the past month or so? I know, I can actually connect to that now that I'm saying it. So, with Pisces, I think we have the opportunity to become a little bit more, more vision focused more more dreamlike focus more on um what you can create what you can actually manifest through your dreams and visions so okay so this week i thought i would do a reading based on something that i have on offer on um, my website maria lane hyphen spirit hyphen art and i do offer some readings not a lot of choices because i don't have a lot of time but you know if you if you're looking for some clarity on something, um, I'm happy to share. And I think that these are priced very affordable. So, so the premise of today or this week's message is coming from four different um, cards. We're going to start off with a color card. We're going to then go to a crystal card and we have an angel number plus a right away tarot card. Now, I don't profess to know every card, every meaning. I go with my intuition. Sometimes I look at the handbook depending on, on what the, um, the deck is. I am the messenger. I am a channel for which, you know, the universe can just um, share some guidance. And if you're watching this video right now, then I believe the following words, whether I'm reading them or whether I spruik them, it's just what you need to hear right now. So let's see what the universe has got inside. <laughs> Can guide us with this week and the first card being the color card is this one here it's a cherry and is guiding us to live an extraordinary life and what I think from this card is that you know however our life pay, plays out is really up to us it really is how we respond or react to a, an event um, how we perceive things how we we interpret so I think you're going to be guided to be Pisces like and perhaps ponder and be a little bit more philosophical over the coming week to really think about you know what's arriving in your day and how you can actually turn whatever it is into an extraordinary cherry full life so it's got here cherry helps to raise your self-esteem and bring sweetness happiness and wisdom into your life um, it can open your heart and allow you to listen to your heart's desires. Cherry is a deep, full colour which encourages you, to, encourages you to live your life to the max. It acts as a magnet, attracting incredible people, opportunities and abundance into your life. Well, that's really cool because it's hot on the heels of this beautiful crystal card. And I don't think I've ever called upon this card before. It is gold with quartz. Isn't that beautiful? And as soon as I saw that, I thought, oh, oh, what a wonderful card and what a wonderful message for us this week. So quartz to me is all about clarity, especially, especially crystal, clear quartz. <laughs> and gold, well, that's the colour and the symbol of abundance. And it's got here. Several wonderful ideas and inspirations are filtering through into your physical reality. These ideas and inspirations which stem from your soul will help you to manifest many of the things your heart has for so long desired. Over the coming days, use your intuition and it will be strong as you will have a great sense of the universal spirit that flows through all things. Through this, a newfound sense of joy and wonder emerges, one which will transform your life. Give thanks to the blessings and allow it to inspire and illuminate your heart and mind. Your ideas and inspirations are divinely guided, so trust them absolutely. Now, this is getting really quite exciting because the Rider Waite card is 
is the Three of Wands. And this card here is um, like this person is looking ahead. He's not looking behind. And see the little growth shoots coming from these wands? It's a bit like, you know, you're starting to actually see that your, um, your desires or your dreams can actually grow. That, that you have the potential to actually make them happen. And, you know, you can, I think you've been guided to actually be open to the opportunities that will present this week and be ready to transform them so that you can have this extraordinary life. You know, and, you know, we are human. Every day can be extraordinary. Some can be more extraordinary than, than others. We've really just been guided to, um, you know, be the alchemist and turn things into gold because we have the ability to do that. Now, we also have an angel number and I love the way the universe actually guides me to these numbers. I just glance around at my very cluttered desk and I saw a number, actually, it's on this box. I have no idea how it got there, but it was 2619. I thought, awesome, that's the one for us. And angel number 2619, where is it here? Um, here we go. The angel number 2619 can indicate that a material possession or item will leave your life and it will be your choice as to whether you wish to part with it or not. Adjust your thoughts and mindset if you do not wish to lose your possessions. Alternatively, it can bring a message that if you intend selling and or being getting rid of something in your life, this will come about quickly as it's time to offload. Number 2619 may also be suggesting that time away from your daily routine and chores, worries and fast-paced lifestyle is much needed at this time. Honour this feeling of wanting to be away from your hectic pace as you have the responsibility to honour yourself, your needs and to be healthy and well balanced. Stop and be in the present moment. Focus upon one issue, venture, ambition or project and see it through to completion. Absolutely. So here we go. This is it. This is the week where we're going to actually be aware of a beautiful opportunity. It's something that we've been wanting. And I think that in the essence of this message about what we'll be leaving is your belief that it couldn't be done. Because you now know, you now have that potential to actually say, yes, I can actually do this. So, awesome. I feel this is going to be a week of inspiration and of ex exciting, <laughs> um, exciting opportunities that we can actually turn into something. Okay, so thank you very much, everybody. I really enjoy sharing my messages. I will be online sometime during the week. I would like to say it's going to be on this day, but... I'm very spontaneous. Let's just see when I show up. Um, excellent. And if you can, join me. I am actually doing a seven-day new routine. I'm actually going to be starting every morning doing a five-minute meditation. Something I know will enhance my soul so richly. Something that I've been saying I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, and I always find other things. So this week, starting as of today, five minutes every day, and I'm going to journal the results. I'll actually share with you what has, what gleaned, what I gleaned, sorry, from that during the, um, next week when I share my weekly message with you. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, and I just thought I'd say, uh, you can see all this art behind me. This is what I've been creating. It's just flowing through me right now. And the little cacti, that can you see it? I'm pointing to it. I'm actually going to give that away. Um, I like giving stuff away. So if you would like to um, get this, Sue Collins actually, by the way, won the Go With The Flow Rock, and I'll be passing that over to Sue sometime this week. Um, yes, so I will give that away next week. Just leave a comment to say, yes, I'd love the cacti. And the symbolism behind the cactus flower is that, you know, Instead of trying to survive your life right now, turn it into thriving. The cactus can survive the harshest environments and still manage to blossom into something magnificent. So there we go. That's my message for this week. Time to go. <laughs> Bye, everyone.